So you clicked on the link looking for the miracle cure. Um, well, I don't have probably, probably what you guys want, but uh, the advice that I'm about to share with you guys, I believe is probably the most important advice uh, you'll get through benzo withdrawal and not just benzo withdrawal, but for life um, regarding your health. Um, and, you know, something that's been eating away at me for a little while. Um, and I'll, I'll get into a few different things, but, you know, when I'm, when I'm in the groups like benzo withdrawal groups and other health groups, everyone's kind of looking for that magic pill. And there is in a way a magic pill, but it's not the quick fix. It's, it doesn't come in the form of a pill. Um, it's the opposite of that. And everyone in the groups is looking for that band aid, that, that psychotropic drug to, to help them in benzo withdrawal, take an antidepressant, taking, um, you know, uh, sleeping pills, taking, uh, antihistamines, um, melatonin supplements, like concentrated forms or whatever. And the answer is so obvious that it's slapping us in the face. And that is that the closer we get to living in a natural state, whether that be diet, lifestyle, um, mindset, the healthier we're going to be. The further we get away with that, with these drugs, with these processed foods, not unreal foods that are not real, stress, working at a desk all day, sitting on the couch all day, not getting outside, the sicker we're going to get and the longer it's going to take to heal. Um, you know, I hate to sound critical because I've been there, you know, I... I have been there just as much as anyone has, in my opinion. I've lived with this for five years now, you know, and it is, it is hell. And I understand that when you're going through that, you just want it to end. You'll take anything, you'll pay anything, you know, you, you listen to people that you have no reason to trust. There's so many snake oil salesmen out there looking to benefit off of your, your ill health. Um, and it makes me sick to watch that, but it's true. Um, and you know, a lot of people, <laughs> another reason why I'm making this video is because a lot of people bash me for going for doing this diet, you know? Um, believe it or not, I take a lot of flack from, you know, vegans and people who just kind of, you know, go with the grain and listen to their doctors and, and, um, and just think it's, it's crazy, you know, this, this sort of unconventional diet and, I have to laugh a little bit, you know, when I go out with, for dinner with my friends and they're getting pizza and ice cream and they think I'm the crazy one because I'm getting a steak for dinner, right? Like, um, and with, with nothing else, you know, I'll just have a steak and I'll put some salt on no veggies, nothing, but I, but I'm the crazy one when they're eating pizza and ice cream. Um, and we could get into what's natural, and what's not natural right? That it, meat is food that we've evolved on for, for millions of years and hundreds of thousands of years as humans. Never in, in our history have we turned down eating meat and fat as the most uh, bioavailable nu nutrient-dense food on the planet to sustain life and trading that for tofu or almond flour or broccoli. Never happened in our history. Never have we cooked with olive oil and avocado oil and all this crap that's made in factories. We cooked with meat fat. 
right? Like it, it's, it's unbelievable to me, the, these vegans that are so critical. I have nothing against veganism, but you know, and maybe I'm getting off subject here, but it's just something that bothers me. I need to get this out. You know, eating your veggies and your carbs and all this and all that. You guys need to understand that the pharmaceutical industry controls the agriculture industry. Okay. All these seeds that are, are provided and licensed out to companies to produce your food are controlled by the pharmaceutical industry. They own Monsanto. They own DuPont. They own, um, I think the other big one's called Syngenta and a bunch of other ones. And they also control dietary recommendations. They control studies based on nutrition science. If you look at a nutrition science study, they're always backed by all these pharmaceutical companies. Why is that? Why do they have such an interest in your food? Why do they say that at the top of the food pyramid, why, why are grains, why do they have bread and cereal and all this bullshit that's not natural that we've only been consuming as humans for what, the last hundred something years? Because they make a profit off of it. That is their food. And they demonize everything else. Fat is bad for you. Fat's going to make you fat. Fat's going to give you heart disease, you know. Uh, protein's so bad for you. Protein's bad for the, you know, eating meat's bad for the earth. Blah, 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 blah. It's all a ruse to get you fat and sick so they can put you on their drugs. Put you on their statins. Put you on their drugs to keep you functioning for the rest of your life, you know, and, and have these chronic illnesses. These companies are pure evil. And part of those drugs are benzodiazepines. You know, if you think that your mood's not affected by your gut, you are wrong, period. And the reason why we go through such crazy withdrawals is because of our, our guts are so messed up to begin with. Because we have leaky gut. Because we have candida. Because we have SIBO. We have inflammation in our gut. And we... People are so, you know, living in the, in, in, you know, they're in a deep sleep living in the matrix, you know, this matrix like world that their doctors are, they know what's best for them. And, you know, um, and meat's bad for you and, you know, eating all this, this crap that we've never eaten before in our, in our entire existence as humans until recently. Um, You know, and for me, being on this diet has kind of been like almost like a, a religious awakening of getting back to basics, getting back to nature, living in a natural state, which I wasn't living for so long. I got fat and sick and disgusting, you know, um, and it takes time, you know, you can't just live that way and You've been putting your, your body under abuse for decades. You've been living in a way that's, that's unnatural for decades, you know, and it takes a long time to recuperate from that, to detoxify all the crap that's in your body. You know, it's funny. I mean, there's just little things too, right? Like I. Uh, you know, some people might think this is gross, whatever. I don't care. Like shampoo, right? Not that I have much hair left after all the crap I've been through over the years, but, um, shampoo, wh why use it? I stopped using it. We never use shampoo throughout our existence, right? Um, when you go on a carnivore diet, your gum disease goes away. I don't build up any plaque. I don't build up any tartar plaque on my teeth anymore. My gums don't bleed. I brush my teeth less than I used to. I still brush my teeth. Some people stop brushing their teeth completely and they're fine. I'm, I'm not really in that camp completely. You know, I'm still using some fluoride free toothpaste, 
But now I've cut out carbs and sugar. I don't, I don't need that crap anymore. You know, um, so the magic pill is getting back to basics, getting back to nature, getting back to the way our ancestors always lived. Sometimes going without food, not eating, you know, seven times a day snacking and, and blah, blah, blah. Sometimes going without food for, for a couple days. Going into ketosis, using fat as your fuel source, not carbs. Um, you know, not putting all this shit on your bodies all the time. Not, you know, caking yourself in sunscreen and this and that. Um, you know, have that more, a better mindset. A mindset is, is so important. And... You know, when I work for the government, you know, and as sick of, as I've been over the years, I still would, would rather have the, the mindset in mind that I have now than I did back then when I felt a lot better. You know, but it was all those years working at, at a desk, not being outside, eating a bunch of shit all day, that put me into that sixth state to begin with. And, and the reason why I had such terrible withdrawals, withdrawals from benzos and, and Cymbalta. I can't wait to get off of this poison because I know it's preventing my healing. Um, anyway, that's, that's my cure for you guys. Get back, get back to basics. Stop trying to find band-aids. Get off all the all this bullshit that you're on and live a natural life. All right. Thanks, guys.